You know, Halloween's fast approaching. What's the scariest thing that can happen to your print farm? It's just a happy little print farm, just chugging away innocently. What could possibly go wrong? I got three, so we got the two P1Ss, we got the X1 Carbon, we got a couple A1s, we even have an Elegus Centauri over here, all chugging away, doing their little jobs, happy as can be. Now, whether you're doing this for fun or for profit, uh, either way, this could be the worst nightmare that you could experience, especially if you're trying to make a make some money doing this. What if you had a nice print farm like this, maybe smaller, maybe bigger, and what if you were doing that and all of a sudden, boom, power outage? What are you gonna do? A UPS will only last you so long. Maybe, I mean, on a farm like this, unless you had one for each one, that would be quite, that would add up quite a bit. But if you're gonna make that kind of investment, why not go for something like this instead? This is a, what we call a power station, used to be called a solar power generator. It's basically, let me zoom in some more. It's basically a battery in a box with an inverter. And this is the one from Afree. Now this is their 3000 uh, unit here. This has got a lot of power in it. And you can see we've got two plugs going in that, one going to either side, one going over here to the A1s, one going over here to my Core XYs. And this, they're all running through this and that into a single wall outlet. Now, how can that be, you say? Well, through power management, all right? You just saw the powering up of, or probably heard, my X1C getting ready to go, warm up the heat bed, doing its little test. That's when the major power draw is on these units. And as you can see right now, we're managing that power fairly well. All right, let's take a look at all the ports on this. So you have all the output ports on the front, the import ports on the back. Uh, of course, it has that luggage style carry handle down at the bottom right down here. It extends out, makes it easier to move around because this thing is not lightweight, all right? But you got a bunch of USB, you got USB-A and USB-C, cigarette lighters, a bunch of 12 volt stuff. You, plus you have your typical wall outlets as well as that 30 volt, AKA the RV outlet. It's not just for RVs, but that's what most people call it. Uh, and then on the back, you got a light, you got your uh, AC input, you got your solar input, you got overload protection, and you have expansion for two batteries, okay? This thing also can be controlled via your phone, via a smart app, so you can see what power's coming in, what power's going out. You can turn off and turn on different power sources as well. Uh, in fact, it's expandable. If you wanted to invest in something like this, it doesn't have to just be for your 3D print farm. It can be for the whole house or the whole shop. This thing really does have that kind of level of power. It comes with 30, was it 3,800, 3,840 watt hours of power, all right? But it's expandable to, what is that? 11,520 watt hours. It can really jump up there, all right? And then you're looking at, it's got fast charging capabilities, that's a thing, but usually you're gonna park this and kind of set it and forget it. Uh, and also, in depending on how your house is set up and solar and that kind of stuff, you may be able to get a 30% tax credit. You'll have to look into that. But the price on this, it's on sale right now. It's normally $1,300, although it has spiked as high as two grand, all right? You know, I'm there with tariffs and what's not, whatnot's going on. So you're gonna have to jump on it while you can while it's on sale. Uh, 3,800, uh, 3,840 watt hours. I keep try, trying to cheat them 40 watt hours on that. All right, it's got 3,600 watts of LifePo 4 battery power. Now remember, LifePo 4, if you don't know, LifePo 4, there's lithium ion, and then there's lithium ion iron phosphate. And the iron phosphate is what LifePo 4 is. And what that means is it's got way more recharge cycles, like exponentially more, okay? So this thing's gonna last you 10 years easy, okay? Plus it can run colder, it can also run hotter, and it's not prone to thermal runaway. You always hear about batteries catching a fire. LifePo 4 batteries won't do that, all right? So this thing you can leave at home, you can take it camping, and yes, you can use it with your, your 3D print farm, or in my case, print ranch. And then if you do want to expand it, the expansion battery is running at $1,200 right now. And that basically doubles it. Uh, and then of course you can put on more and more, take it all the way up to the full max capacity. Now I hear you, some of you are like, well, I don't, I don't need that much power. I don't have that big a print ranch or, or whatnot. Is there other options out there? And there's a ton of other options out there. And I wanna thank Afree for sending this over to me, but I don't want you to think that this is the only option available. But that said, they do have a really nice budget version. And, and on my other channel, this has really been one of the favorites, one of the big standouts. So this is the Afree P210, a 2048 watt hour version 
of that other box. Now, it does have some limitations. It's not expandable. This, it is what it is, okay? But at that, at that size, for that much money, for, oh my gosh, it's less than, than 50 cents. It's, it's like 35 cents a watt hour. It's ridiculous. This has been one of the biggest, uh, biggest sellers on our other channel. And uh, people just love this thing for the money. Now, there's bigger name brands out there. Okay, there's uh, there's EcoFlow and uh, the, in fact, my desk runs on the EcoFlow battery, all right, or in, you know, power station. I have a, a Delta II Max, my whole desk setup runs off of. Uh, and then at home, we've got a Blue Eddy system. But if you're on a budget, I can't say enough about the A-Free systems. They're just really good bang for the buck systems. There's a lot of great ones out there, but uh, this is one of the best that, that we've tested on the channel. And if you're gonna be running and, and it's mission critical, consider getting something like this. As always, there'll be links and such down below. Uh, if you like what we do here, go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.